In eight hours, that's 6 a.m., I checked the math, cleanup will begin in McAllen. Crews getting ready to scrape a sticky situation off city streets. Channel 5's Alyssa Cole with a closer look of what to expect. The streets downtown McAllen are described as a sticky situation. Hundreds of fresh and old gum are molded to the sidewalks and streets. There's so many gum spots on the ground, you can even play hopscotch by jumping from one spot to the next and come out a winner. We stopped on 17th Street where there's heavy foot traffic to count how many spots we saw. And we found between 80 and 150 pieces of old gum on each sidewalk square. And right here, outside of the restaurant, the Gremlin, we found about 8 to 13 spots a square. Owner of the Gremlin, Alyssa Cantu, says the old chewing gum is something she has hadn't really noticed before. Now that I see it, I, I can't unsee it. That's why she's personally thankful city crews are taking the time this week to remove the old gum and beautify the busy streets using a combination of power washing and gum removal steamer. I own this building and I own the building next door and we're going to be opening up pretty soon and uh, any beautification that can happen in, in the city, keeping the sidewalks clean and keeping them clean uh, will help. According to a press release from the city of McAllen, crews will begin removing gum from sidewalks Monday between 6 and 9 a.m. Now Cantu wonders, is this something the city will do again? How are they going to keep the gum from coming back? Like, is there going to be a, a, an initiative to, to do this more than once a year or twice a year? Or? You know, I'd like to, to know more information about that. McAllen Director of Transit and Downtown Services, Mario Delgado, says in a statement, quote, we hope these efforts, among others, will help beautify downtown and help drive businesses here. And with these efforts underway, city officials are reminding people to throw away gum responsibly in a trash can near you. Alyssa Cole, Channel 5 News.